What's cracking, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Hammy Moto. And uh, oh shit, no, wait, I did that wrong. Welcome back to Do It with Ham. Now, to you guys, this might seem a little bit strange. Hammy, you're not bolding or have a child support payment. So, what the hell are you running a cruiser for? Personally, I've always had a soft spot for cruisers, but I just never really had an opportunity to ride a lot because, at my age demographic, nobody rides cruisers. It's all about cross rockets and get pussy. And that's all wonderful and everything. I'm not trying to race some guy's shitty turbo Evo or fly down an interstate on ramp at six gear. I'm just chilling. And you know what? God, it feels good to be back on a cruiser. My only other experience I've had with cruisers are the Harley Davidson 1200 Sportster and that uh, Yamaha Bolt review I did a while back. And I tell you what, I wanted to buy myself a Sportster the second I got off that thing. It was rough, it was rugged, it made me feel like a man. I grew hair on my chest and on my ass and they combined create super body hair and that's what people that ride a Harley Davidson have the discovered and manly hair now unlike most Harleys this Honda Magna has a V4 engine instead of a V twin this particular motor for this year was taking out of the VFR Honda and plopped into this but a lot of people that have ridden and reviewed these bikes say that the engine is as sweet as a nut it's the best thing about this bike but I'm personally amazed at just how high this thing revs it's up to nine and a half thousand rpm and the owner says he's not sure if there's even a rev limiter on it. Now being from 2002, the technology is a little bit dated. While it does have liquid cooling, it is still carbureted. And to some guys, that's a good thing. Personally, I haven't had a lot of experience with carbureted bikes since I was riding two strokes, which was years ago. Also, another thing to remember with these old bikes is they don't have fuel gauges. So you kind of have to guess how much fuel you have left in your bike. Okay, this thing has a bit of a power band. That that Honda VTEC DNA is thriving through this bike. Now, like I've been saying, I haven't ridden a cruiser in quite a long time, but I do vividly remember what the Yamaha Bolt and the Harley 1200 was like. The Harley 1200 was great. It accelerated good, but it did handle really good despite it having a fucking hardtail, which is still in the Guinness World Records as the dumbest modification you can do to a motorcycle. Trust me, it's verified. The owner of this motorcycle hasn't done a whole lot of modifications to it apart from the rear suspension and the exhaust. I think he's done some other stuff to the engine, especially with the carburetors, but I'm not really too familiar with that kind of stuff, so I'm gonna avoid it. All right, so I was just on my phone finding out where I am. I'm in the middle of Anaheim. One thing that did come factor in 2002 was this black duct tape to hold on the high beams. That's a great feature, and I wish they would have carried that on into more Honda bikes. Where the hell am I going? Great content, Hammy. You're driving around a parking lot. That's exactly what everyone wants to see. Yes, it is. There are some parking lot enthusiasts out there, like this guy. He comes to the parking lot every day just to admire it. Ah, oh, wrong pegs. Ah, I forgot. I thought the pegs were back there. God, it's been a while since I've ridden a cruiser. One thing which I am noticing very quickly is the sense of speed you get on this thing. On most super bikes and sport bikes, the sense of speed is very distorted. But on this, I'm doing 45 and it feels like 75. So quickly before I end this test ride, I'm gonna go buy the owner of this bike a little bit of a gift as a nice gesture to him for letting me use his fantastic Honda Magna. But where to go? Chinese food? No, that doesn't go very well with wrapping paper. Man, I don't even wanna talk right now. I just wanna sit back, relax, and listen to some good music. Ah, what a great song, a classic. What the fuck's the kickstand? Oh great, now I'm stuck. What if I just pay her to hold this thing up for me for half an hour? Maybe I should just lean it against that car. It's not like it's already shitty enough. The fuck is it? There it is. God damn, it's hidden. It's camouflaged in the exhaust pipe. People are so fucking lazy, they'll just pile the shopping carts up in the middle of the spot. Hi, membership card? What's up? Membership card? Do I have to have one? Yeah. Oh. I was just trying to buy a gift for my buddy. Something strange. Yeah, you have to have a membership card in order for you to shop here. Do I have to get jumped in? I'd say, you know, I'm not really much of an adult. I've never shopped at Costco before. Well, that was a waste of time and a little bit embarrassing. I feel embarrassed to you guys. Oh, Hammy, you, you don't know you need a, a membership card? She didn't ask anybody else that. She just saw me wearing my helmet and thought, oh, motorcyclist, I'm gonna discriminate against him. Us motorcyclists are so heavily discriminated against, it's just, it's wrong. I wonder what people think when they see a motorcyclist walking around in like the department store or something. They just see a big, sweaty, veiny face. My biggest fear when test riding other people's bikes is not crashing them, it's more about that there's like a little, uh, a little quirk about them that I don't understand and it won't stop for some reason. I remember that happened with Sub-D's Triumph once, 
and it didn't start because I didn't have the clutch lever in the right position or something. It was bizarre. It was also scary because I know for a fact he would have wheeled his ass all the way down to where I was and beat me up. Is that kid from a John Hughes movie or something? Good God. I love getting lost in somebody else's bike. Don't know where I am, where the fuck I'm gonna go. Back to the good old fashioned Ralphs. I know just what to buy him. You know, this is the problem that I'm really tired of, and you know what? I'm gonna do what Gandhi would want me to do, and lead by example. You are a responsible adult. Thank you for putting your car back. You know, you've really got to be the change you want to see in the world, and I want to see that shit change. Ladies and gentlemen, put your shopping carts back. See? That's what you're supposed to do. Learn from me. So quickly, before I take this thing back to his house, I'm gonna add one final touch. There you go. Now it's just, oh, it's just perfect. All right, the Jacob man, thank you so much for letting me use your beautiful Honda Magna, which I kept on calling it a Magnum. Hopefully I can uh, breeze that away in the edit. Magnum Mike for Magnum Dong, right? There you go, I like your style. And this bike is also quite stylish. Not as stylish as me, of course. Absolutely. Very few bikes can't live up to the, to the ham. Speaking of ham, here is your gift. Am. Yeah, you don't seem surprised. You seem kind of disappointed. Do I look like I've made of money? I'm using other people's bikes. I just accepted far. I, I mean, I just expected far less amount of ham. But here, it's chopped ham. It's chopped ham. So are you happy with your gift? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Thank one. you so much, Jacob. All right then, back to the studio. Uh, what's cracking, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Hammy Moto. I know it's been a while, sorry about my absence. Uh, for those of you that have been a part of my channel for a long time, know that this is unfortunately just a regular thing. Life has been busy, life has been hectic. Um, I've been making videos for Big Bear Choppers um, part-time on my days off just to sort of add up a little bit of extra cash. Um, so that's been taking up a lot of editing time. But I'm starting to get back into the rhythm of things real quickly, so hopefully I can be more consistent again within the next month or so. Unfortunately, as much as I love doing it, YouTube doesn't pay the bills, so priorities do tend to get stacked. But anyway, what did I like and what did I not like about the 2002 Honda Magna? First off, that is a sick fucking name. Why don't more motorcycle manufacturers give their bikes cool names? I want to see a Kawasaki Fuck Your Lambo 1000 or a BMW Blitzkrieg 1200 Poland Edition. This is why this is why I need to run the world. But anyway, back to the Magna. I know I didn't really talk much about the bike in the video because honestly, I didn't really know a whole lot about it. Usually before I go out and do a test ride on bikes, I'll read up and watch lots of videos and information about it. And there really wasn't a whole lot on it. Because of the year of the bike, um, no internet articles were really written about it. Um, there was stuff I could find was just re-rendered magazine articles. But it was kind of weird seeing the uh, the authors of the articles talk about how this is the latest and best in its class and the bike is 16 years old now. <laughs> but nevertheless, I do have a couple things I want to say about it. The good. The engine is the best part, man. I loved that V4 engine. I wish more manufacturers would develop V4 engines. They really do just have the best balance between the high reviness of the four cylinders and just the, the mid-range grunt and the sound of V-twins. Nothing sounds better than a V4 and Honda Magna is certainly up there. So the engine and the overall size of the bike was something I quite liked. Now as a fairly um, thin guy, I get kind of nervous when it comes to riding big Harleys. I remember Captain Bagger wanted me to test ride his um, his victory for a long time, which would have been lovely, but you know, one touch of gravel under my foot at a red light and down I go and there I stay. But the Magnum was very manageable and certainly gave me more confidence to possibly ride some more cruises. So what did I not like about it? A lot of the things that I did notice were probably due down to it just being an old used bike. I really didn't have any confidence at the front end of that bike, man. I, I don't know if it was maybe just the rake position on cruises that I wasn't used to or tires, but every time I'd sort of ride through a crease or go over a bump, I could just feel that front start to wobble a little bit. And um, for someone who's had horrific wobbles before, uh, it, it puts me off a little bit. I'm looking a bit grubby today, aren't I? Fucking hair's not doing that right. Looking like a heroin addict. Uh, some other things I didn't like, um, I didn't like the position of the kickstand. That fucking thing might as well have been in South America for how far away it was from your actual feet. You have to go underneath the exhaust to get into it. At least that's what I, what I remember from the experience. But apart from that, there really wasn't too much to dislike. Um, it's a simple bike, it's a cruiser. Um, the things that you are going to get that you will enjoy are definitely the engine and just the overall affordability of the bike. If you go on Craigslist right now and try to find one of these, um, of course they're gonna have plenty of mileage because they're cruisers, uh, but there's plenty around. And I think Japanese cruisers 
should be utilized more often for beginner bikes. I don't know how complicated they are to work on, um, I imagine they might be, but certainly riding them is very easy, very straightforward, and very unintimidating. Oh, uh, one more thing I like, the owner put this aftermarket seat on there, I forgot the name, but oh, it was fantastic. A good seat on a motorcycle just, it changes the whole bike, it makes it become so much more rideable, especially since I am very thin and have no ass. I'm just sitting on my pelvis. I'm doing that right now. Um, deeply uncomfortable and quite painful, but uh, I'm doing it for the tube. All right then, ladies and gentlemen, that just about does it for this week's video. Um, I will be back next week with a video about New Zealand burgers versus American burgers. Yeah, so that's something for you to look forward to. Make an alarm, put it down on your calendar. Fucking gonna be learning about burgers next week. All right then, kids. I'll see you all next time.